inquiry has been ordered in connection with the death of a patient at Tiruvannathapuram Medical College following the delayed kidney transplantation surgery. The health ministry said Minister Veena George had ordered an inquiry into the news that the surgery was delayed. The minister directed the additional chief secretary, Department of Health, to immediately investigate and submit a report on that. Strict action will be taken against those who have failed in doing things on time. She said that a high-level meeting would be convened soon in connection with the incident. On Monday, Tiruvannathapuram Medical College witnessed one of the tragic events in its history. A kidney patient died due to the serious negligence of Tiruvannathapuram Medical College. For this patient, kidney for transplantation was brought from Ernakulam of a brain-dead person. But even after hours, the surgery was delayed. Anyhow, Surgery underwent after about 4 hours, but the patient died. The kidney of a 34-year-old man who died at the Rajgiri Hospital in Ernakulam was brought to Tiruvannathapuram Medical College. His brain death was confirmed on Saturday. Subsequently, one kidney was donated to Kotem Medical College. Another kidney and pancreas were donated to Kochi Amrita Hospital and his liver to Rajgiri Hospital. However, the kidney was allotted to Tiruvannathapuram Medical College as suitable patient was not there in Kote Medical College. Then at 4 a.m. on Sunday, two doctors from Tiruvannathapuram Medical College Hospital were sent to Ernakulam Rajagiri Hospital in a private ambulance. They reached Rajagiri Hospital at 10 a.m. From there, they completed the operation to remove the organ from the brain-dead person at 2.45 p.m. and returned to Tiruvannathapuram. According to the ambulance driver, the organ was brought safe from Ernakulam to Trivandrum within three hours. He said that all the doctors and medical officials in the ambulance was very much engaged with the procedures and also he assured that there will be no failures from doctor's side. Due to the emergency situation, the traffic signals from Rajagiri to Tiruvannathapuram were turned off and the police set up a fully green channel for the ambulance. Ambulance reached medical college from Ernakulam in three hours with the kidney to be transplanted. With utmost caution and with the help of the police, but when he reached Tiruvannathapuram Medical College, no one knew about it. Even though the hospital authorities knew about the operation, the security was not alerted and confusion still persisted as to how to help those who came with the organ. The surgery finally started at 9.30 pm, that is an hour later. When vital organs such as kidneys are transplanted, they must be replaced as efficiently as possible. But here, the negligence of the hospital has shattered a person's life. However, hospital officials said that the patient had to undergo dialysis before the kidney transplant surgery and this was the main reason for the delay. But this delay could have been avoided if the dialysis had been started at the time when the team was leaving Kalamasheri with the organ. Failure to equip the patient for the surgery to be performed comes under the purview of nephrology and urology departments. If an organ is removed from someone, it should be implanted in the recipient as soon as possible. Only then will the organ function properly. It is true that the organ arrived here soon, but the surgery getting delayed by 4 hours is a serious negligence for sure. News Desk, Kaumudi Global. <laughs>